Hello students, I'd like to welcome you to a virtual field trip at a home gym. This is my home gym and I'm going to show you uh, various equipment that you could use and model some exercises. Uh, there is a uh, lot you can do with um, this type of equipment. So I'm going to start right here and I'm um, going to start with uh, flooring. So it's good to have like padded flooring on the floor. Uh, if you're going to do cardio, like you're going to do boxing. So like you want some, some kind of sponge or if you're doing like stationary uh, movement, you could uh, have some sponge and you're not putting like a lot of resistance on your hips. I'm gonna start right uh, here. I have a mat. I also like the mat because the mat is like additional uh, cushioning. And if you don't have a, an area for padded flooring, a, a mat will work just as uh, good. Um, I have a court ball and some dumbbells. And what I like about uh, both uh, pieces of equipment is you can um, work the body out in different ways. So I'm gonna show you uh, using both pieces, you can do a, uh, I'll come around this way. And you can roll in and place the ball on your head and shoulders. And you can do a dumbbell flies or dumbbell pullovers. And you could even do a dumbbell press. What I also like about um, this equipment is you can do complex movements. And complex movements are um, two or more exercises into one exercise. So um, this one I like to call squat, crow, and press. So I'm grabbing my dumbbells, I'm squatting, I'm curling, and I'm pressing. There's three exercises at one time. So I'm gonna keep looking at uh, the laptop for the questions. Um, here's another question. What is the benefit of complex dumbbell exercises? Uh, they're total body weight exercises. I mentioned that um, uh, just right now. And if you're into some uh, endurance exercises, uh, complex uh, exercises are good for working many muscles in one activity. Uh, why do bands have different colors and what exercises can you do for a workout routine? So I have uh, three types of bands. Um, this would, green band would be the light band. The red band would be the medium weight band. And the blue band is the heavy band. And what I like to do is use a light band like for my shoulders. So let's say if I'm doing um, lateral raises, I can step on this band one time and I can do some lifts. Uh, you could also use this um, kickboxing device for um, the band. And you can do what I call batter swing, working out your waistline. You could also get in between the bands and you can press. Or you can use it for pulling and when I'm doing or working out large muscles I like to warm up with the red band and then I'll move in to the warm-up with the blue band this is a uh, kickboxing um, I'll call it uh, it's not a heavy bag but it's uh, a light bag it's made out of foam but what I like like it's also used to uh, do band activities but you have a pair of gloves and you know you can put the gloves on during a workout and you can work on your jabs and your kicks so you know you got your gloves on and the gloves gloves go for about like $35 the bands are probably about 12 or 15 dollars 
but you can work on your jabs, kicks. And then um, I'm going to move over to uh, cardio. Since we we're talking about kickboxing, you want to have like different types of cardio you can do uh, at home. So like you have the Bosu, and you can do one that's called like front step. You could also step on it and do squats. And over here, we have a stationary bike that I like to use uh, once or twice uh, a week. And I try to do uh, 45 minute uh, cardio sessions. And I usually uh, don't do any weight resistance during uh, this um, cardio session. And then we have bars, bar weights, so the Olympic bar. The Olympic bar is uh, right here. And um, I put some plates on there and I like the bench press. So, you know, you would sit on the bench. I like to keep my, my feet on the bench. And you know, you got a bench right here. And when you go in, when you grab your grip, you have smooth edges and rough edges. You want to keep your thumbs um, right at the edges. And then just wrap your hand. We got a squat rack. And I keep the weight light when I'm starting my warm up. And I like to have a cushion. And so what I like to do is um, face out. When I'm getting my grip here, it's a little bit different than the bench press. I'm not um, going from the edge of the rough, rough part of the bar. I'm going a little further out. There's a couple little lines here and they're usually on uh, most bars because I also have this bar and there it is again right here that's that smooth ring and I like to uh, get my grip from there so I'll put my hands out wide I'll get right under the squat rack get place the cushion right right on my back near my on my shoulders come up keep my feet apart I'm just gonna do one squat but I like this for strength and endurance. I also add in a calf raise. So I'd like to show you uh, what my home gym's about. I use bar weight, free weight. I like uh, stationary bike. I have about, uh, I think about 500 pounds of free weight. I have a, another cardio device, a BOSU, and kickboxing, padded flooring, a mat, and dumbbells, and bands. And I like to have different types of uh, dumbbells. So I have my uh, dumbbell rack right here. And I also have a foam roller that helps for um, recovery. I like to run, so I like to roll out my IT bands and my low back. I hope you had a good time in this virtual trip. And I look forward to your answers for this virtual field trip uh, assignment on Module 5.